Hello again, this is Andrew Voigt with Component Studio here to give you another how-to. Today we're going to look at how to add images to your designs. In today's example, we're going to create three cards. The face of these three cards will have these three creatures, a toad, a spider, and a leech. The backs of the card will all be this red image. Once you have your images ready to upload, go to Component Studio, head towards the Images and Icons section, and either create or select the folder where you want the images to be. I already have one set up for this project. You can upload your images by either dragging and dropping them here, or click here to open up a viewer to find the files on your hard drive. Go ahead and select and upload your files. As they are successfully uploaded to Component Studio, they will appear on your screen. Now that we have the images in Component Studio, I'll show you how to add them to a design. We'll start with the back of the card because that's going to be the same for all three. Add an image asset, name it as you see fit, and under image URL, go ahead and select the button on the right to choose an image. Locate it within your image folders and select it. With the image selected, you can resize it, you can reposition it, or you can do a number of advanced features with it. We'll focus on those in a later lesson. You can enter values into the position and resize fields to adjust your picture accordingly. Because I want this image to be the full size of the card and centered on the card, I'm going to use a couple of variables. I'll go ahead and select center me X for the X position and center me Y for the Y position. This will put the image in the center of the card. Then I want the card to be the full width and height of the card. And that's all we're going to do to the back of the card. Now, all of our cards in this design will have this red background. Heading over to the face, we'll go ahead and insert an image. Go ahead and name it. Now, because we're going to have this image be a different picture for each card, we're going to need to enter some information in a data set. Once we have that set up, we'll come back here and complete the card. I find it easiest to open your images in one window and your data set in a second. As you can see here, I already have a data set started with my three cards, Leech, Spider, and Toad. I have a column set up for image. We're going to copy each image's URL to the appropriate card in the data set. To do that, select this icon here, Copy URL to Clipboard and then paste it in the field in your data set. With each card's individual URL pasted in the appropriate field in your data set, we can now go back to our design and make sure that each card appears correctly. In our image asset, we're going to go ahead and put the variable for image into the image URL. Component Studio will use the URLs that we placed in the data set for each image. We're going to adjust the position and width like we did on the back. And with that, we should have our three cards with unique faces and a uniform back. We have our leech, our spider, and our toad. There are the three faces and all three backs contain the same red design. That's the most basic way to add images to your designs in Component Studio. There are more complex things you can do with them that we'll cover at a later date. That's all for now. If you have other video ideas that you'd like me to cover, go ahead and leave a comment. This is Andrew Voigt with Component Studio, helping you make games to be proud of.